You know, it seems like only yesterday, a very good YouTuber friend of mine by the name Nox Cooperative gave me a free copy to Hell Let Loose. I remember this because most of the time I was bitching and moaning. I was like, oh man, I can't believe I didn't back this game. Ugh. Now I'm not going to be able to get into the alpha or beta. Ugh. I was really like hating myself because I didn't back it. Even though I had like all the time in the world to do it. I just never got around to it. But your boy Nox Cooperative comes in with the clutch and gives me a free copy. Oh man. I never felt so happy. Like holy cow. I was able to hop in the alpha. And then afterwards the devs went ridiculously quiet. And we had to deal with a little backlash there. But after that, you know, things got a little, you know, talkative. You know, the devs were actually coming out of the woodworks and being like, hey, we're still here. You know, we're still updating the game we're doing this and that they would actually drop updates on us so, you know to keep us informed and then we finally got into the betas i was able to play at least three of them but the last one i couldn't get into unfortunately and that was the one that actually had the foy maps the footage that you're actually seeing here is actually from my computer if i like restart the computer i could play the game for like an hour without it actually stuttering but after that it just gets really bad and with more people it's actually pretty bad too and now we're here we're, we're at early access. We we did it, boys. We made it. We, we we got to the finish line. Like, holy shit. It was a bit of a bumpy ride, but we got there. We're at early access, and they just released a roadmap, which we are going to talk about. And that's basically all we're going to do today is just talk really quick about the roadmap that just came out. According to the developers, this is a 12-month roadmap that includes the following. Utah Beach. Apparently, it's supposed to drop sometime in July. Battle from landing crafts up the beach through the Atlantic seawall and into the countryside beyond as you face an all-new series of environmental challenges, including sprawling hamlets, waterways, and concrete pillboxes. Is very interesting. I like the I like the sound of it. I like it. Along with these updates, there's going to be balancing, quality of life, bug fixing, new weapons. Here it says that they're going to be trying to fixing the gunplay with bullet penetration, small arm bullets. I'm guessing like the pistol. I'm guessing. And hit ricochet FX. They're going to be adding vehicles, heavy and light tanks like the Tiger tank and uh, a Lux or a Stewart. I wonder if the Americans are ever going to get a um, a piercing a piercing tank. I wonder. I hope they give. I hope they add in the Easy A because I'm not a fan of the American tank that they have right now. I just don't like the way that it. I like the Easy A, you know. Anyways, mobile artillery, half tracks, wheeled vehicles, additional variants. They say that they're going to improve on animations with continual visual and functionality updates and improvements. They say that they're going to be adding in the flamethrower do i need to say more <laughs> they're going to be adding a stat tracking system progression system that allows for uniforms and helmets to be unlocked per roll interesting i actually like that system if you work on a roll enough at least this is how i'm interpreting it if you work on a roll enough you're eventually going to unlock all the stuff that the roll has at least i think i don't know if that's right or not i have to I should probably ask the devs about that advanced movement they want to increase the player's movement functionality and visual fluidity yeah like they have you know they have like the running animation and stuff but it doesn't look natural it gets the job done but it if only they can make it look better and i think that's what this is they're going to be working on the ui with continual visual and functionality updates and improvements they're going to add more deployables here is some to name a few aa guns stationary mg nests resource generation nodes fuel dumps ammo dumps aid stations Eight stations. That's interesting. The commander role. They're going to be introducing a new commander ability and increased functionality of existing abilities. How interesting. I mean, I feel like the commander role is already OP as fuck, but maybe that's just me. More cosmetic items. Cosmetic system. Ability to choose helmet, face, and uniform for each role. Interesting. Continual additions of new uniforms and helmets. Ooh. Can't wait to see it. Audio improvements. Oh my god, everybody's always bitching about the audio. Come on now. Ugh. It's like, work on the game first, and then fix the audio, you know? But, you know, everybody's not gonna agree with me. They're gonna say the opposite, but... You know, it's whatever. Implement new audio engine to increase the sound quality and directionality. Which is a good thing because, you know, I don't mind the sounds that are in the game right now. I just, um, wish that they were better. Especially the MG42. I remember, I remember hearing the MG42 in the alpha. It was, it was... Like, that's supposed to be the gun that made the Americans fear. You know, it was supposed to be the buzzsaw, right? VFX. Visually upgrade and optimize effects. Honestly, I think that the visuals and effects look good right now, but to make an upgrade, I'm down with it. I can dig it. New game modes. Introduce offensive game modes where one force attacks and the other defends. Hmm. I think I, I think I know what they're getting at. They're, it's like that one squad mode that, um, I forgot what it was called, but the moment that you cap a base, like it locks for your team and you keep going, I think 
think that's what this is? I don't know. I could be wrong though. Maps. Utah Beach. Additional maps including industrial, urban, and night. I heard battle from landing crafts up the beach. Does that mean that we actually have an animation where we're going onto a beach and hopping out? That would be fucking awesome. I'll be honest. And they could pull it off with like 50 players, right? I don't know. And then the last one says forces. We will seek to leave our early access period with the inclusion of the Russian theater of war and forces. Ooh. I'm gonna shoot you with my Mosin dickhead. You know, I actually did see uh, in one of their previous developer briefings, there was a British tank, uh, a Sherman Firefly, I believe, um, sitting on the uh, right there. I, I have to wonder, are they already done with all the factions? Because it's interesting that they would randomly show that tank when they haven't showed anything from any other factions just yet. Speaking of developer briefings, they just released one the other day, I believe, for this summary here. Because what I read to you is basically just a summary, but it goes a little more in depth. I'm going to link that in the description for you guys to read. It is very long and very extensive. So if you want to check that out, it's right there. But yeah, that is everything when it comes to Hell Let Loose as of right now. I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.